Hello, friends. Hello, greetings. This is Patty Bennett. I am very excited to show you these cute projects today. And I am going to be answering one of your number one most asked questions. <laughs> So as you are joining me, if you are joining on Friday, April 15th at 11 a.m. Pacific time, you are joining the live feed. So you should see a little red live button up there. That means you're joining live and I am watching for your comments over here. Please do say hello and especially please let me know if you are new. If you're watching a replay, totally great love that as well you might want to use hashtag replay just so i know to watch for your comments later now if you're watching a replay either on youtube or my blog feel free to skip ahead just maybe a minute or so until we officially start i'm just going to watch for the live people joining stacy don sandy gail uh, let's see, Bonnie, Marcy, Lynn. Oh, it says, and 68 other people. <laughs> okay, so hello, welcome. I see lots of hearts. That is wonderful. Welcome, everyone. We are going to be talking about these cute little gift packages, and I'm going to be answering your number one most asked question. Whenever I do videos, I get this question all the time. So it's kind of funny, but we, we will be talking about that and I'll be answering your question. Oh, Brenda, so glad that you have joined me live as well. Hi, Carol, Diane, Jeannie, Bonnie, Ina, Peggy. Hello, everyone. So glad you are here. So we are officially at the top of the hour at our 11 o'clock Pacific time Friday Facebook Live crafting series of videos. And oh, thank you, Iona. Um, yes, there was just an announcement on a demonstrator Facebook group about the new demonstrator council for the rest of the year. And thank you. Yes, I was appointed to the demonstrator council. Thank you so much. It's going to be a great year of supporting demonstrators. <laughs> All right. So let's look at these cute projects. And let me tell you what the number one most asked question is and how I can help you solve that problem. These little goodies are actually prize patrol goodies for my love to stamp group. Those are the demonstrators who have signed up in my group, my Stampin' Up! group. And these are little prize patrol packages for this month. So what I have used is this. This is one of the empty envelopes from a Stampin' Up! stamp and cut and emboss die set. When you order dies from Stampin' Up, they come like this. So let's just open this quickly in case you haven't seen it because I actually got an email this morning from someone just asking about die cutting and not familiar with dies and our stamp and cut and emboss machine and, and all of those things. So I know not everybody has these, but there's a plastic sleeve and then there's this heavy duty plastic envelope. You pull this out and you have the dies that are stuck to some double sided tape. So when I receive this from Stampin' Up, what I like to do is take those dies out of this packaging and I put them onto a magnet card. That's what this black piece is here. So it's it's magnetized and you can see that you can just sort of pop the dies off, but then they, they click back on there because it's magnetized. I cut off the label and I just stick it to the back. These are from Stampin' Storage. Let me just show you what that packaging looks like. So Stampin' Storage, it's not Stampin' Up, this is a different company. And I am actually an affiliate for them, so I will post the link if you are interested in purchasing. You can watch after the end of the video in the description. I use the 6x7. That's what this size is. Now, I should note that this backing right here, you can you see that it's kind of shiny? It is actually meant 
to hold your cling mount stamps. You can mount your stamps just to the back of these. To these, these are kind of new in the last year with this shiny uh, coating. You can actually put your stamps on there if you store them together. I don't. I store them separate, but it's a, a nice feature. So that's the magnet card, and then I label it with the name. And I love these pockets, these plastic pockets. I slip them in and I label the pocket as well. I'll show you that packaging and it looks like this. It's called a six by seven pocket. There are uh, size options available, but this is how I store my dies. So then the number one question that people ask becomes, what do you do with all these envelopes? Because I end up with dozens of them every year. So what I love to do is to decorate them and put goodies inside. So let's look inside. So these all have iridescent rhinestones and a sampling of the new Stampin' Up! host reward paper or Stampin' Rewards paper. There's a 12 by 12 pack and I've cut it down to fit. So I have these that I have decorated, filled with goodies, and these are going to be prize patrol gifts. I wanted to show you a couple of different ways that you can decorate and I wanted to show you how I decorated these and what I used. So I hope that just right off the bat, you're saying, oh, this is a really cool. I like this idea, and I can use these for extra packaging. Um, I see that Anne has asked for closed captioning. Could somebody please type in and let her know that I can't do closed captioning on a Facebook Live, but it will be available um, on the replay on YouTube or on, uh, I think on the replay on Facebook, but it just doesn't do it live. So thank you so much for helping me with that. I have chosen to, thank you everybody. Thanks Lynn. Thank you everybody. Christine, I'm so glad you like the idea. So I have chosen to decorate with the Hues of Happiness suite of products and although I can't show you inside the catalog right now because we're doing this ahead of catalog release on May 3rd, I can show you the products and how I made these. This paper is just stunning. Were any of you on my live um, last week, a week ago, so that was April 8th, I was live from our hotel room in Reno and I showed you all of my new goodies, including this gorgeous paper from the Hues of Happiness. Isn't this stunning? Look at these amazing patterns. So gorgeous. I just, I could just like wallpaper my room in this. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of getting some 12 by 12 frames for a few of these pieces because these are stunning. I think these are amazing. Oh, Lynn, yes, you did. Lillian did too. Okay, Dawn, thanks, Shan. Yes, that was fun. I actually can't believe I took all my new stuff on vacation to the hotel, but I did, and it was fun sharing with you. <laughs> so I just looked through these, and I picked this particular pattern is the one that I cut up to decorate those little pockets, but I think I'm going to pick I think I'm going to pick this one. Let's see. If I do it this way, then it gets kind of the whole rainbow. I think that would be pretty. I think I'll, I think I'll do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut it this way. So I'll show you how I cut it to get the most out of a sheet with no waste so that I could decorate four of these. And you're probably already guessing what I did because if you do the math, you'll know that all I did was cut the, a piece into three inch strips and then that would decorate four of these with no waste. So, oh, Lillian said that she ordered it after she saw my uh, demo. Yes, thank you. I'm glad it helped you. That's the purpose, yes, of showing you papers like, you know, real life and, and the products and whatnot. Let's see. Yes, Lynn, that's what I was going to show next, or not next, but as we decorate these, I was going to show that. Thank you. So we are going to grab my paper trimmer 
and cut this in a three inch strip and that way we can decorate one of these envelopes together. Okay, so just a three inch strip. I left it at 12. Oh, I know, I love this paper too. I love this paper so much. It's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. I just elected to place it on the front, fold to the back, and then I secured it on the back with my stamp and seal plus. Before I did that though, I sort of just scooted this up and I just put a little bit of stamp and seal on plus stamp and seal plus onto this so that it will just hold it in place. I didn't want it slipping off. That's kind of optional. If you want the recipient to be able to slip it off, by all means, don't secure it then to the envelope. It's totally up to you. And I just did that so that it's this little belly band stays right there on the envelope. The other thing that I have done in the past, rather than a belly band this way, is that I have used designer paper and I, I know it's clear, so it might be hard to see, but you can see the shape of this flap. So I had laid it onto my designer paper and I traced and cut out and then I decorated the flap instead of decorating down here. So that's an option as well. You can decorate these in many ways. Those are two options. So then let me show you these new fabulous frames. It's funny to call them fabulous frames because um, that's what they are. They're fabulous frames, right? <laughs> oh, thank you, Marcy, for helping Anne with the um, closed captioning. That's so sweet of you to offer to help. So these frames, very interesting, very fun, different sizes. I chose this one to decorate the front and I used the new Starry Sky cardstock. This is just a half sheet cut lengthwise or sometimes we call it hot dog direction because it's long and skinny like a hot dog. Um, oh my gosh, I have a funny story to share with you. Speaking of cut lengthwise, I'll share that in a minute. Someone remind me. And what I noticed was you can get four of these on a half sheet. You have to kind of scoot them pretty close together, but you can fit four and you can see it would be very little waste. So really economical if you wanted to use this die and a half a sheet. I'm going to leave it right over here and hopefully it'll remind me to share that funny story. So when you die cut this particular die, it actually cuts in two pieces. So it seems like it should cut kind of all one shape, but they're separate. They come out separate. And I think this is great because you could mix and match, like you could do the center in white and stamp on it and then have it be framed in a color. And then on your next project, you could use the two pieces reversed, right? The frame could be white and the inside could be a color. Or you could cut it out of designer paper. Um, I think these are really versatile. It's a, a fun something kind of different and it was not expected when I first die cut it. I just thought it would be all one piece. So I wanted to show you that just so that you would not be surprised and be like, what? Mine cut two pieces. <laughs> uh, yes, repurposing, reusing. Yes, it, it's all about upcycling these. Exactly. Let's see, was there a question? Oh yes, Elizabeth, be sure to watch the replay. That is perfectly fine. Oh, Carolyn is asking where these envelopes are from. So you must have missed the beginning. When you purchase a Stampin' Up! set of dies, that's what these envelopes come in. I mean, that's that's what the dies come in. <laughs> they come in these envelopes. And I was showing that I always put my dies onto a Stampin' Storage magnet sheet. So I end up with billions of these and I upcycle them recycle them, repurpose them, however you want to say it, into these cute little 
uh, gift packages. And I do them for my team as well as for customer incentives sometimes. So yes, sorry I missed that question earlier. Uh, let's see. Yeah, hi Katie. Yeah, be sure and watch the replay as well. Alrighty, so let's put this on. And I've learned a really good lesson. I I'm really bad at just kind of setting things aside, thinking, oh, I'll put that away later. And then what happens? They either get lost or you can't remember where they were supposed to go. So I'm really trying to be in the habit of putting it back and at least having it on the magnet sheet or in the stamp set, even if I set that aside. So there's that. <laughs> All right, so what I did was I used liquid glue and I just put it on these two ends. It really doesn't have to be around the whole thing. This is gonna stay in place. And I put that right in the middle. And I know if you're like me, you're you're thinking, but you're covering up all those beautiful flowers. But look, they can still turn it over, right? And then on this piece, I used, if you've watched my videos, you know, I'm a huge fan of these foam adhesive sheets. You get six of these sheets in a pack and you can use scissors to cut it down. I have just this kind of old pair of scissors that I don't mind if it gets gunked up. So I just cut a piece in quarters and I just peeled it off, peel off one side of the backing, put it on here, peel off the other side, and that goes right in the middle. And if you prefer to use dimensionals, by all means, totally fine. I just prefer not to pick off like six backings of dimensionals because I would have put about six or eight on there to keep it nice and, you know, solid. So I just prefer peel off one thing and that's the way I do it. But it doesn't matter. Either way works. So then let's look at how these are decorated. Each one of them has a tag that says enjoy. And that is from the Slim Sayings set. You can stamp your tag with anything, but I thought Enjoy was completely appropriate for this little gift. I'm gonna take that stamp out. And these tags are the, is it Taylor made tags? I think, Ta Taylor, oh, I wish I could remember the exact name. I'm bad at that, but I used this tag to stamp it and Mango Melody. Even though, really, Mango Melody, I don't think is actually one of these colors that we're gonna talk about this in a minute, but I thought that it went really well. I thought it was just nice and bright and pretty and um, happy. I wanted it to be happy. All right, so we are going to ink that up. Let me just grab a grid sheet just, just to test it. I always like to test it just to make sure there wasn't a fuzz or something that's going to make it not stamp well. Thank you. Glad you like this. So glad you like this. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. So there was a little fuzz right there, but Look, we're going to put a gem up there, so I'm going to show you. We'll cover that one up. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Here I said test it out, and then there, a little fuzz jumped on there. All right, so again, that was Mango Melody. And then the ribbon that I used is, let me grab it here. It's the Olive and Peacock Reversible Ribbon. I just really thought that went pretty with all of these colors and I just slipped it through I don't cut it first I just um, like tie a little knot but if you want to cut it first it's that works just as well either way just I tied I guess it's a half knot really and that's all it needed was just a little half knot like that and then give it a little haircut a little trim like that I'm pretty sure this is on the retiring list. I should have checked, but 
It is 149496 Olive and Peacock Ribbon. Pretty sure that's retiring. Okay, so that is going to go on here. And since we've already popped up one layer, I'm just going to put this directly on. It does it can be popped up or not. Totally up to you. All right. Then my favorite favorite part. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Look at all of those. And look at this. This makes me so happy. Does this make you happy? Like happy 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 just does that just make you smile? It Actually, I tell you, it gave me goose, goosebumps. I'm not kidding you. Goosebumps. Because this right here is happiness. And you might be thinking, holy business. D yes, the slimline is retiring. Yep, it is retiring. You're right. So you might be thinking, did you fussy cut all that? Because, lady, who has time for that? No, I didn't the dyes in the Hues of Happiness suite that go with the, um, what is the set actually called? Hang on, I'll grab the set. Let me grab the stamp set. Searching in my new stuff for the set. Where did it go? There it is. The Happiness Abounds, that's what the set is called. The dies will cut out the stamped images, but, but, look, they also cut out the images on the designer paper. So you can cut out the large, the large one. I didn't get that one cut very perfectly. Let's look at that one. That one looks better. Well, let's look at all of these. Okay, we have this one. There's one for this and this and the leaves. So let's get them all out and I'll show you all of these. I'm just gonna put some in my hand and, oops. Well, some of them went on the floor. I will rescue them. All right, here's that one. And I'm going to look at your comments in just a second. I'm concentrating really hard on getting all of these out here to show you. What are we missing? Missing that one and the large leaf. Here's, nope. Here it is. Here's this one. Here's that one. And the large, here it is, large leaf. Well, it's not really large, but it has several leaves on it. So we have two leaves that'll die cut out of this piece. We have, oh, I already got one, bonus, okay. You have this one that cuts out, you have the large one, you have this one with the tiny little stem, and then you have that one. So you can cut out this whole page, and let me show you the other page. And this whole page, yes, it took a little while, but yes, and Heidi, great question. So she said, did you trim this to fit in your machine? Yes, because 12 by 12 won't fit in the die cutting machine. So what I did was I just sort of, I'll show you, I just sort of started snipping like this, and I cut it into three sections. This might actually be too wide. I think I kind of went the wrong, I probably should have gone the other way, one row over. But you have to cut it down so that it's six inches wide or less, and then you place your dies on top. And I ended up looking for, I think it was this little part that I sort of ended up noticing where it goes because otherwise you're like turning and turning and turning and turning and it takes a while but once you do a few of these then you're like oh I know where this goes and then I have these little post-it tabs you can use post-it tape you can use washi tape and you just start sticking them down all over and you can run all of them through at once so yeah thank you for asking that 
I appreciate you reminding me to talk about that. So both sheets then will give you all of these gorgeous colors. And let's look at how I decorated with all of these. But let me follow my own advice. Let me put these back so that they don't get lost. And with this one, demonstrators can pre-order, as you know. I've been talking about that. I actually bought the bundle and I bought an extra set of dies so that I could cut lots of these flowers at once. It just seemed like a better use of my time and a good investment. And I often do that with sets of dies that I know I'll be cutting lots of. Yes, you can, exactly, Marcy, great point. You could trim that sheet, this one that I was showing you, you could trim, like you'd probably have to do one color at a time, and then you could cut it into to three and a half inch strips to fit through the mini machine, exactly. Let's see, let me just check for questions. Okay, I'm glad you like this. Yes, oh, Ellen, you know what? I, I don't know if you've seen this before. Um, hang on. Let me hang, hold tight one second. I'm going to grab this. Uh, I think I am. I just don't want to upset a whole bunch of stuff here. So I've shown this before, but I have this box full of die cut pieces that are all ready to go. So I buy white cardstock and an extra set of dies and I have a helper. I call her my die cutting fairy. And she helps me by die cutting those, usually 50 to 100 at a time. And then I put them in little plastic sleeves and I have them ready to go. Because I'm usually making, oh, like 60 to 90 or 100 thank you cards at a time. And then it really helps in mass producing. So, yes, it's, it's great to have those pre-cut. And let's see, was there another question... Yes, I love this sweet Claire. It is so gorgeous. Yes, Ellen, this DSP. Oh my gosh. Hold them in place. Um, Karen, I'm not understanding. Sorry, I am not understanding Karen's comment. I'm so sorry. Maybe reword that to me. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm caught up on. I'll show that in a minute, Ellen. I'll show you what's inside. Um, I think I showed it before, but I'll show you again. This die set, I sorry, did we not go over the Happiness Abounds bundle and Blooming Happiness are the dies, and this is the bundle. And Hues of Happiness is the paper that goes with this suite. Yes, Vicki, it is so gorgeous. Hi, Tammy, welcome. Yes, my die cutting fairy is amazing. The The name of the suite is Hues of Happiness. All right, let's see. Okay, all right, so let's finish up by decorating this, and I'll remind you again what I put inside this one, but you can put anything you want inside. So one, one little way that I decorated for instance, I am not going to put this red one here because there's a red one white right here. I want something contrasting. So I would not use that one. I would maybe put the blue there. See that? And then maybe the lavender. Um, do you see how that kind of brings all those colors together? And then a couple of leaves. So I think that's what I'm going to select for this. Put those back. And these, by the way, I keep these little containers, you can just get them at dollar store or container store or whatever, any little container at my die cutting station so that as I'm die cutting, I'm keeping them all in one spot. I used to just have them like all over the counter and that that's not a good plan. <laughs> so we're going to use just a couple of dimensionals and some glue to put these down. And I think I'll just... I'm going to put this one down, just attached to that, and then I'll pop this one up. And I could use some scraps of my foam sheets. 
or I could just use a couple of dimensionals either way. And then what I like to do with these is just put some liquid glue and just sort of tuck like this, see, like that. And a little liquid glue on this one and kind of tuck that in and just give it a little tap. And as it dries, then it's just gonna stay right there and it'll just stay in place. But I like how they're kind of overhanging See, that's cute, right? And let's see. Sorry, I was just looking back at these comments. So then my glossy dots were my choice here for decorating the centers or just sort of decorating in general. So you can see here on this one, I made it be the dot and then a couple of extras. Here I did a flower center and a couple extras. This one again made it be the dot of the J. And then this one I did a little cluster on the purple flower. So you can decorate however you'd like. But since that had a little fuzz and that gave us a little problem, we are going to go ahead and put the yellow one on top and no one will ever know except the 183 of you who are watching this but that's okay and then let's do the other two here and I love to do threes or fives and I love that these new embellishments are in threes because then you can do that without ending up with like 50 extra large ones or 75 little tiny ones you can use them in threes isn't that fabulous and look, can, can you see? Yeah, you can see this on camera. Are these amazing? Look at that. They're like little disco balls. And I, I actually just got this question this morning about how do I store my embellishments. These little packets, hang on, uh, hang on, they're here. They're somewhere. Might have to grab... Yeah, they've just, hang on, sorry. I'm gonna reach around the camera, hopefully without knocking it down. This is what they are. Four by six vinyl envelopes for passports. They were from Amazon, they're by Avery. So number 74806 from Avery. And they are these really nice, sturdy, very sturdy uh, pockets. And I like to just slip all of my embellishments in there and I label them. And nice big letters because when you get older, sorry, but that gets hard to read. You know, it happens. So I label them with my brother labeling machine. And then I have, like, they're, they're all just stacked up. Now, does this one make me crazy? Yes, because it sticks out the top. I may cut that in half because that makes me nuts. But for the most part, they all fit. Yeah, we're just going to put that, that one aside for some surgery, because that's going to make me crazy. But look how nice. Isn't that cool? I love that. And then I just have them in a little plastic container. And I keep them on my desk, because if they're not on my desk, I don't see them and I don't use them. So that's how I decorated it. Oh, and we were looking at what's inside. So inside, if you missed it earlier, I have a package of iridescent rhinestones and a sampling of the new Stampin' Up! Host Reward paper. And it's 12 by 12, but I cut it down. And then I slipped that inside. And these are for prize patrol gifts for my Love to Stamp group this month. Last month, I did a really huge giveaway. We had over 30 pe people earn stamp sets and bundles on our monthly prize patrol. So this month, it's scaled down just a little bit, and we're doing these as prizes this month for my team. We always have some kind of a monthly challenge, so it's very fun. Let's see, anything else? Oh, what set is the enjoy in? Sorry, did I, I must have not said that. The slimline saying, or slim sayings. Yeah, sorry, Gay. 
Um, let's see, the Avery pockets. Yes, those pockets are amazing, aren't they? Let's see, what else? Yes, that is the other thing. Who just said that? Libby. Yes, you can also store your embellishments in these die envelopes as well. That's a totally great way to do it. Love that. And I did that for a little while. And then I think it was um, Jason on my team. Not my son, Jason. I have a downline named Jason. And my son is also Jason, but they are two separate people. Um, Jason Laux in my team showed me these. And I was like, what? Absolutely love these. So that's when I converted over to that a few months ago. Let's see. Yes, the, Jeannie, you are right. Those Avery pockets are going to go to your house. That is right. Um, let's see, what else? Yes, of course, you can use cellos to store them as well. Exactly. Uh, Lynn, the, the pockets, the Avery pockets, I'll just put it right here for you to see. There you go. What is the cello bag I'm using? Um, I'm not using a cello. Do you mean the pockets from the dies? I'm repurposing the pockets from the dies. Is that maybe what you were asking? Let's see what else. Um, sorry, I'm just looking through the comments. Oh, but the paper is just cut to four by six so that I could get lots of samples out of a pack. Let's see what else. The die envelopes are from Stampin' Up, it's what the dies come in. Oh, are, sorry, are you asking about the Stampin' Storage? So I put them on the Stampin' Storage magnet cards, and then I put them in the Stampin' Storage pockets. So I will link to those as soon as I am done with this. I'll put it in the description for you. Can I see your holder for your labels? Yes, let me, well, okay, hang on. Let me grab that. Hang on. <laughs> There's just a lot of stuff piled up over here. <laughs> I'll, so, I'll show you first, just so you can see. So I always have little pockets like this. And these um, are like baseball card sleeve type little pockets. You can also use small cello bags. But that's what I keep them in. And then just don't want to knock everything over. So this container is just divided. You can see how it has some dividers. It's kind of sloped like this, but really any container. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be anything specific. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that was in the bathroom organizing section in the container store. So you could go to containerstore.com and look in the bathroom section and look for, it's like a makeup organizer. I think that's what it was. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, what else? Um, yes, Marcy, these Avery pockets are very sturdy. I have not ripped a single one and I have a huge container of them right over there. So yeah. Oh, my funny story. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So I will, sh this story is hysterical. This is hysterical. Okay. Yes, Susan, be sure to watch the replay. We, we're just done with this. We just finished. So this is so funny. When I pulled this out to show you that if you cut your cardstock long and skinny, and I called it the hot dog way, that you could get four of these die cuts out of that. Okay. It reminded me of the funniest thing my husband told came home and told me this yesterday and I could not stop laughing. So they had an office lunch yesterday and I said, oh, did they order pizza? And he said, no, we had sandwiches. And I said, oh, okay. And he said, so on the order form, I said, I want like ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo. And I wanted, um, I think it was, it's pepperoncini peppers. I think is what he said. I don't get peppers, so I'm not 100% familiar, but I think that's what he said. And he said on his order form, he said, cut them lengthwise. He doesn't like them sliced into like little rounds. He likes the pepperoncinis in long like slices, like you'd slice an apple or something. Okay. So when he got his sandwich, the whole sandwich was sliced lengthwise down the center and it looked like he had two hot dogs. 
So instead of slicing the pepperoncinis that way, they sliced his sandwich down the middle this way instead of like cut in half. And I don't know, I it just struck me so funny. I was laughing so hard when he told me that. And I said, I hope you took a picture. I hope you Facebooked it. He's like, no, I didn't even take a picture. <laughs> oh, anyway, I just thought that was hysterical. So anyway, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what uh Gay is asking. Yes. 74806. I always feel like I'm on QVC when I say stuff like that. <laughs> By the way, I just wanted to mention for all of you on here, if you're watching live, watching the replay, YouTube, Facebook, one thing you can really do to help support me and my channel on Facebook and YouTube is to click like or give me a heart or give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. It really helps the social media platforms to know that you are enjoying. So if you learned a tip, if you enjoyed something, I would appreciate that. I just, I never really say that and I just thought it, I really should say that. Okay, somebody was asking about my label label maker. So hang on, I have to unplug it to get it to reach over here. So one second, please. This is what I use. It's a brother by brother. It's called a P-Touch Cube. So you can see it's like a cube, right? Yeah, right here, P-Touch. And it's a cube. And you'll notice, well, there's no keyboard. How does this work? So on my phone, which is up here filming this, so I can't show you. On my phone, there is an app. And you type in on your phone what you want your label to say. So, for instance, let me show you. So on my dies, on these pockets, you see they have a border. That's how I like these to look. So all of the labels I print with a border and the name of the die set. On my embellishments, you I don't know if you notice, but they don't have a border. It's because I want these to be larger. I want this to be like the biggest font I can get. You can print however you want. So on your app, you type in the words that you want. You tell it if you want it to have a frame. It can have all different frames. It can have little um, graphics. It can have uh, different fonts, different sizes, different lengths, all of that. You do that on the app, and then you click print, and then the tape just goes, zzz, comes right out of here. And then you just click right here. You click that, and it cuts it off. So that's, that's my system. That's what I have. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that you asked because I, I nev never really have showed that, I don't think. And I label all of my cardstock, my designer series paper, embellishments, and dies, and I, I just love it. Um, no, this is, well, okay, when you say it's wireless, so... It plugs in for power, but it's Bluetooth with your phone. So you don't plug your phone in, but you have to plug it in for power. So I'm not, I wasn't quite exactly sure how to, yes, Amazon. Yeah, Avery P-Touch Brother, no, it's not Avery, it's Brother. Sorry, did I say Avery? It's Brother P-Touch Cube. Let's see, what else? Yes, you can peel these off. And usually what I do is I just use a, like a take your pick tool and grab it under there. And then you can peel this right off. It comes right off, no residue at all. And then you can reuse these. So yes, I reuse them. And then it'll stick right back down too. So if you got it crooked or whatever. Great questions. Um, so the cartridge that's in it, let me show you, is this. And when you go on Amazon, type in Brother P-Touch um, lab labels or label tape. I guess label tape would be the official name. I only buy official Brother. This is it. I don't buy knockoffs because I don't 
want it to jam and I don't want it to like peel off or have a problem. So they're not cheap, but you know, you don't use that much either. And it works great. Uh, yeah, you. I used to have the one, Brenda, that has the um, the little keyboard and then you just push print and it comes out. Yeah, exactly. I had that one, but I like this system a little bit better. Oh, yeah, you could label your Stampin' Blends, of course. Yeah, there's so many things that you could label with this. Um, I think I even was helping my husband label his tool chest and things at one point with this. Let's see, what else? Let me see if there were any. Oh, how do I label my paper? So I'll show you. So you can look on my blog, uh, pattystamps.com. Up at the top, there is a tab that says my craft room. If you click that, you will get a link to everything in my craft room, how I organize it. And if you look at how I do my cardstock in rainbow order, you'll see this post. So there are uh, these nice little um, dividers that Stampin' Storage has that stick out beyond your cardstock. And then I do labels for each color. So that's in my big storage system on my wall. And then for the designer paper I use, let me get these back in here. The designer paper, I use the Stampin' Storage 12 by 12 plastic sleeves and then I do the name on here and you might look at it this way and say but it's upside down okay but you have to picture this when it's this way and it's slipped into my big cube of shelving then you want your name to be this direction while you're looking at it so that's why it sort of looks like it's upside down but when you think about putting it into your shelf, then you can read it. So that's how I do that. And um, let's see, anything else? Just looking at your comments. Uh, the tape is 0. 0.47 of an inch, which is basically half an inch. Yeah, I am not sure why it's not half an inch. I think that's really kind of silly, but yeah, it's basically half an inch. Oh, and I will tell you one thing. I accidentally one time got the tape that is clear. So I would have black letters on clear, but then clear tape on the clear packaging was really hard to read. So my personal preference is white tape. And then it kind of blocks out what's behind it. But that's up to you. But I'm just telling you so you don't make that mistake if you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything else? I Did I, if I missed your question, would you please retype it now? Because at one point there was like a billion, a billion questions were flooding by. Let's see. Thank you, Brenda. She says she likes my style. Thank you. You know, I just find that things like this, organizing things like this, keeping them labeled, keeping them in a container, it just really helps me to craft a little easier. I just find that everything is right here at my fingertips. I know where it is. Um, now, that's not to say that my desk is is neat. I mean, it's a mess. I will admit that. It's messy. I have stuff everywhere. But at least I know where it is and it's labeled. So there's that. <laughs> All right. You are welcome, everyone. Any other questions before we go? And I will link to the stamp and storage products that I showed you uh, as soon as this video is done. You just need to give me a minute to run downstairs and grab the links and put them in the description. Hello, Shirley. I love you. How are you today? The tape in the cube. So if you go on Amazon, hang on, I'm just going to open this and show you, and search for Brother Label Tape. This is what will come up. And I don't, I don't even know if you can pronounce, I don't know if that's pronounceable. It's 
this like T Z E tape, but it's it has the brother um, logo on it. There are lots of knockoffs. There are cheaper ones, but I am of the belief that it's not worth buying the cheap one if it either like gums up the machine or it falls off my packaging or whatever. So for instance, in my HP printers, I only use HP toner and things like that. I just, it's not worth it to me to save $2 and then wreck my machine. So that's just me. But you know, you, you can buy or try whatever you would like. <laughs> A label goddess. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> that's cute. That is cute. But anyway, it is the official brother labeling tape. And I believe it fits in like all of their machines because it's the same tape as the one with the little tiny keyboard that I used to have. It's the same tape. All right. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sometimes not worth the money. Exactly, Shan. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I am glad you like all this. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Gay. Thanks, Paula. Right, Kathy, I don't refill my toner either. I, I just buy new toner cartridges. Uh, Susan is asking, is this the Cube Plus or regular? You know what? Let's look at the bottom. Um, I've had this a long time. So if the Cube Plus is something new, then I don't have that. I honestly don't know. Can you see? It says PT-P300BT. That's the model. So, yo, oh, look, it actually says that. See that thing about the tape? Can, is it focusing? I hope you can see that. So it actually has that little symbol. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a plus or anything fancy because I've had this many years. So it's probably just the regular cube. And I think it's actually on sale. Uh, Lynn says, how often do you give team gifts? I do weekly challenges with gifts and I do a monthly prize patrol and then end of the year gifts as well. Like I was saying, we did, I think 35 people earned a free stamp set or bundle last month. So it's a little toned down to these gifts this month, but yeah. Let's see. Anything else? Just scrolling back. Yes, print black on white. So the tape I get, see, you can see that it's a white tape and it prints black. That's my preference. They also make clear tape, which I accidentally got once. And then I stuck it on there and I really couldn't read it because clear on clear and then I was seeing what was behind and I did not care for that. But there might be in instances where you like clear tape. So it, maybe it's not bad having both. I'm going to have to find something to use up my clear tape with. <laughs> All right. Oh, $59. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. It's not expensive. It's a great little investment. And then just be sure to download the app on your phone or I think it's probably on your iPad or whatever. Exactly. Any other questions? Did I miss anything that I can help you with? If not, I'll let you go. Was I the only one that thought that sandwich story was hysterical? I just thought it was hysterical. I don't know. I thought it was so funny. I was doubled over in laughter. Lots of hearts. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, I just saw a smiley face. So maybe somebody thought the story was funny as well. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. Please visit my blog, pattystamps.com tomorrow. And all of these projects will be there with, you know, a little more information and pictures. And then you can always uh, put pin them on Pinterest so that you can remember them later. Oh, Gay says, how many in my group? I have about 450 demonstrators in my group. Um, oh, I could do that, Trina. Thank you. Oh, Shan, I already, it was the funny story about the sandwich. That's what you were reminding me of. So I shared that already. 
So anything else? All right, you are welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining me and check back next week. Next week will be April 22nd. And I'm not sure what we're doing next week, but we'll do something fun as always. And hope you have a, a wonderful and blessed um, Easter weekend if you celebrate that. And oh, good. Lynn says that her husband was laughing too at the sandwich story. I know. I just thought it was hysterical. Maybe I'm just silly. But anyway, thank you so much. I will see you next week, everybody. Bye.